Hello friends and hello vintage lovers. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're already a subscriber and if you just stumbled upon my channel, go ahead and subscribe if you like what you see in this video. This is yet another haul video. I had a request to do this video today. So here it is. Most of these items are from estate sales, but a few are from Goodwill. I went to Goodwill, I guess a couple days ago now, and I found a couple really nice pieces there. But I think the rest are all from estate sales. I will let you know as I go over each item. I think today I want to start in this corner. This is so cool. This is a barometer. And it's from West Germany. It has all this amazing detail. Look at that mushroom. Um, I think the house is just precious. It does seem to work, believe it or not. Um, it has written directions on the back. Let me let me show you that. You can look at this pig while I turn this around. Um, this is in German. But it says to hang this in an airy, airy place, and if the weather is dry, turn the chimney until the lady comes out. And if it's wet, bring out the man. Only adjust once. I apologize, there's a little bit of dust right there. Um, <laughs> this estate sale was so dusty. It actually said in the description to bring gloves and not to wear shorts, which was kind of impossible. It is June in Texas. But it was pretty dirty. Um, I have not researched this yet. I've just done a little bit of cleaning on the pieces from this house. But I think this is so cool. It's definitely got some age because it says West Germany. But I will do some more research and I will find out. If you are interested in something like this, let me know. It probably will not be available in a live sale. It'll probably go to Etsy or eBay. But, if you're interested, just let me know and we can talk about it. Okay, oh my gosh. I picked up this piece of Indiana glass. And it does have the sawtooth pattern on it. I love amber glass. And if you watch my channel, you know that. I decided to do the black light test on this. I, I don't know why I felt like it might glow. But guys, it glows. I don't think I found a piece of amber glass that glows. And I have my black light here. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see the glow in this. Oh yeah, I think you can. Um, this is astonishing. I'm going to have to go through all of my other amber glass to see if it glows. I mean, how cool is this? This has such a good glow. It almost looks like amberina in a way. I was shocked. So, like I said, I'm going to go over all of my glass pieces um, over the next few days and some of my brooches to see if they glow because um, Sandy, I'm sorry, Trisha at Sandy and Auto taught us a few weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, that some brooches glow. And ever since I saw that sale with her, I've been checking everything. This one may be a little bit more difficult to see, but in the dark... The outline of this dish glows. And this is a candy dish. I did a little bit of research on it. And according to what I read, this is depression glass. And it's the Doric pattern. It is in the shape of a clover. It's in really good shape. It is clear glass, but it has this really light, iridescent pink color around it. I think this is really cool. And I love that it kind of glows. Again, I did not think that would glow, so I was very, very surprised. Okay, so at this estate sale, I did pick up a few, not linens, more like ladies' accessories, but this is one of them. This is such a cute hanky. It is hand embroidered, and it's obviously a souvenir piece from Holland. It's in really good shape. I don't see any damage or wear to it. I wonder if they just bought it on a trip and never used it. They might have had it out. I would have because I think that's really cute. And it's really, really well made. I like the red on the outside. It's just really, really pretty. Okay, this. So, 
I picked up a few pigs lately. I don't think this is vintage. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's not vintage. It doesn't seem to be. It is not marked at all. It almost looks like Italian po um, pottery to me just because of these the designs and the, the fruit. It is a piggy bank and it does have its stopper. There is no information on the bottom. It could be a made in China piece. I don't know. I thought he was absolutely adorable and I kind of liked the Italian look of him so I picked him up. He was at an estate sale. Okay, and behind him, I have these three pieces. These are new old stock. They have never been removed from their box. I think they're probably from the 70s. I don't know. I have not researched them yet. But they're tissue holders, um, you know, for your purse. And this one has a kitty and a mushroom. I mean, come on. This has to be the 70s, right, guys? Uh, there's no information on it. Small world greetings. Um, but it doesn't say what year made in the U.S. I did pick up three of these. I wasn't sure if people would be interested in these or not. They're really cute. They had several, but I only picked up three. I just wasn't sure. I like that they're in the original case, and I think they're really cute. That bunny is adorable. It, one of them does have the price on it. It's a store called Four Peanuts, and it was $1.75 originally, $3.50. That was pretty cool. Just knocked over another item, but that's okay. And this last one is a puppy. Really cute. The tag is worn off on that, but I just thought those were too cute to pass up. I thought maybe somebody would get a kick out of them. And this one I have not opened yet, and I'm, I'm not going to at this point uh, because the box is so fabulous. Look at this. To me, this looks like it could be 60s based on the graphics. Does it say? It does not say. Oh, no, it does. 1974, so I was wrong. Uh, but this is um, a stowaway mirror you know, to put in your purse or, you know, wh wherever you need it when you're on the go. Um, and it has this needle point design on it. If I do sell this on a live sale, I will definitely open the box. I just didn't want to because I thought it was so cool. It says plain and magnifying. I just love the box, guys. I'm sure the mirror is really cute, too, but I had to pick that up. And I got that at the same estate sale as, as the tissue holders. Okay, so I showed you the hanky from Holland, but I also got this. And this is also a hanky, I believe. Or it could be a, a short scarf. Um... If you watch my channel, you know I love Japanese art, and I collect it. When I saw this geisha, I had to get it. It's got purple, which is my favorite color. It's got these beautiful cherry blossoms. Uh, I love that it's a back view. It's like she's looking out, you know, at all the, the beautiful cherry blossoms. It's very well made. I don't believe there was um, a tag on it, so... I'm not sure who made it. I don't know yet if it'll be staying with me. Um, it very well might. I just think it's so pretty. I mean, look at her kimono. Look at the beautiful butterflies. Okay, enough of her because you guys may not be interested in her. Now, this is, is genuine silk. This is also from Japan. And I may not be able to do this one-handed. But it is this beautiful full scarf. It has this really pretty bird on it, and it does have this maker's mark here. I don't believe there was a tag on it. Oh, it does have a really pretty lotus here on this side. I think that this scarf is just exquisite. It is so, so pretty. There were a lot of scarves at this estate sale, and there were a lot of people. I didn't get everything that I wanted, but I think what I got was great, so I'm not going to complain about that. There are a lot of people um, huddled up in this, this woman's um, closet, and a lot of people are looking at the scarves. Now, this one is, is also pure silk, and it is beautiful. It has this rose design on it. The main reason why I got it, well, I think it's beautiful, but for resale value, Maybe on eBay, Etsy, or even Poshmark. 
this would be a great thing for me to list. Um, it is made in France, as you can see here, and it was made for Neiman Marcus, which if you, well, maybe you don't know, but Neiman Marcus is a fine department store, and it was started here in Dallas. I, I do not know where all the other locations are, but there are a few Neiman Marcus locations here in Dallas, and as well as Houston, and um, I don't know about Austin, maybe San Antonio, but they did file for bankruptcy, so I'm not sure the status of the store, but I remember going there as a kid with my grandmother, and I mean, they had the most amazing things, um, such high quality. Uh, Stanley Marcus was uh, the founder, and he really cared about his customers, and it showed. Uh, I'm sad that it may be closing for good because I have a lot of good memories going there with my grandmother. Okay, now I also picked up this bird. Bird, what am I saying? This is an owl. Um, he is a bell, and he, well, maybe he does have a mark. I think it says made in Taiwan. It's kind of coming off. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, there's an A end at the end. But I just thought he was cute. I mean, you know I love owls. And I did have a bell similar to this. Another ceramic or porcelain bell. And it did sell one of my live sales. So I had to get this. I mean, I had to get it because it's an owl. But I think there will be others interested in him. He's really cute. And his bell obviously works. Okay. This is not something I would normally pick up. But it's an oil and vinegar set. And if you've been hearing the rumors, clear glass is coming back. And I did have to clean these for a while. I think they're really, really pretty. I have not researched to find out who the manufacturer is. I do not believe they were marked on the bottom. I honestly loved the shape of these. And I love the little top. I just thought these were really, really nice. So I picked them up. Again, not something I normally would get. I don't tend to get a lot of kitchen items, but I thought these were really lovely. So I got those. And that was at an estate sale as well. I picked up this guy. He looks like a dream pet, but he is not. But at least I don't think he is. He does have a tag back there. Um, let me show you him first. He's in excellent shape for his age. He does have a little spot there on his nose, but I'm pretty sure I can clean that out with some OxyClean. And his, his bow has seen better days, but I could probably fix some of that too. Or maybe even put a new bow on him or, or leave that to you. If you would like to purchase him, you can decide what you want to do. Some people are purists and they want to keep vintage items the way they were. And that's cool. But some people don't mind, you know, making a few modifications. So I'm happy to do whatever. I'm trying to see. I don't. It says it was sewn in Haiti. That's very interesting. Um, I don't see a manufacturer, though. Um, he obviously looks very mid-century to me. Um, I think he's adorable. And I picked him up. Okay, now for jewelry, I did pick up three pieces I would like to show you. Uh, this is not sterling silver, and it's not turquoise, but turquoise is all the rage right now. And I think this is a beautiful piece of costume jewelry. It looks brand new. It's in great, great shape. You know, and if you watch The Recycled Life, you probably saw um, Serena and um, Laura. I cannot talk anymore. Or Selena, I'm sorry. And Laura and how much um, they helped make turquoise popular again. Oh my gosh. Some of the squash blossom necklaces they found were phenomenal. I see them here in Texas and they're like $500 a piece if I'm lucky enough to see them. But anyway, I think this is gorgeous. And these two brooches I'm very happy about. I got these and an estate sale as well. I'm hoping that you can see him. He is a poodle. And he has these really pretty black and red flower detailing. I don't think it's focusing. Let me see if I put it down, if you can see it. You may be able to see it a little bit better. Of course, I'm blocking the light. 
Um, but this is a really nice brooch. It's, it's very high quality. It does not have a mark, so I'm not sure who made it. But, I mean, who doesn't love a poodle with black and red flowers? Come on. Okay, so this is this may be one of my favorite brooches that I picked up recently. This is Trafari, and as you can see, it's an angelfish. He does have um, a red rhinestone eye, and he's obviously gold-toned. I think that this piece is beautiful. I love him. Um, both of these brooches are in excellent shape. I'm trying to see. Is it Trafari upside down? It might be. It's there, I promise. Hopefully you can see it. We're having storms again today, so it's pretty dark in this room, and I apologize for that. Okay, so I also got this. I got this at an estate sale over the weekend, and this is a German company. I have been able to do a little bit of research on it, but... I am not 100% sure about it. Um, all the the words are in German. And it has kind of this, um, this scene of cattle. I guess of a farm. You've got a horse and you have a dog and a farmer. Um, but I do believe this is silver. I have to verify that. But from what I gathered online, it is at least silver plated. And I thought it was just really cool. Even if it was Peter, I probably would have picked it up. I think it's just really neat. I love, I love the design and the carving on it. Very nice. Okay, now this I picked up. I have not dated this yet, but it is a cornucopia piece of art glass. And I think it's stunning as well. Uh, if you know anything about history, you know the cornucopia um, really got popular after World War II and after the Depression. And it was used a lot in home decor and kitchenware. This is a vase, and it's in great shape. I did not find any chips or scratches on it. Again, I'm not sure who manufactured it yet. I haven't been able to research that, but I think it's really cool. I love the design, and I had to get that, too. Okay, now this next piece is... This is from the San Francisco Music Box Company, and I believe they're out of business. I'm not 100% sure on that. I do not know if he's vintage. He could be because he looks like he maybe could be from the 90s. He is in excellent shape. Uh, there's no flaws on him. The white in his collar is, is fine. It looks brand new. Uh, there's no wear or anything on his clothing or his face. And he came with a stand. I guess it's probably his original stand. I'm not sure about that. But in his bag back here, he does have, well, where is it? Um, a way to wind him up. So let me see if I can do that without putting the phone down. There we go. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, I think. There we go. Just wanted to show you that he does still work. There we go. It probably hasn't been played in decades. But I think I'll be offering him in our Christmas and July sale. And again, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been picking up a few things here and there. But I just thought he was really cool. And if no one's interested, I'm sure he would be great for me to sell on eBay. Very cool. Okay, so this. So this was at an estate sale, and it was high on a wall with a few other paintings. I'm calling this a painting because I crawled, <laughs> I got on the sofa and actually got on the end of the sofa, which I know I shouldn't do, to grab this picture. Nobody seemed to mind. This house was, was pretty dirty, and I honestly don't think anyone was buying that couch. But luckily, I was just tall enough to grab this, and as soon as I hopped off the couch, uh, the person running the estate sale said, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you got that. And she said it is a handmade piece and it was painted by, well, I guess it was painted by Sandy in 1976. Uh, she said that when the home was purchased, um, this picture was in the home and they had kept it up for all these years. It's in really good shape and I love it. I mean, how 70s is this? How boho? And how cool that it's hand-painted. 
I think Sandy did a great job, and this is really cool. I don't see any wear on it. It looks fantastic. Believe it or not, it wasn't very dusty, unlike that, which was so dusty. I just love it. Now, here's the question. Do I keep it for my Boho 70s kitchen, or do I sell it? Let me know if you're interested. That could help make me make up my mind. Okay. And this kitty I did get at the cat estate sale. And I did go back. <laughs> People asked me to go back and film the stairs. Um, it, it wasn't the greatest video, but I did film it. And this kitty, I think I got him on my first trip, but left him out of that haul video. Um, he's very obviously a Siamese. He's these really pretty blue eyes. He's in excellent shape. No chips or scratches. He obviously had a label at some point, but it's long gone, so I do not know who made him. He is a bisque. I don't know. I would like to guess Lefton because of the quality, but I, I don't know. So don't quote me on that. I'm really not sure. Okay, so speaking of boho, I pick these up whenever I can, and they do pretty well on eBay. This is a butterfly. I see my reflection. Um... You know, it's a framed butterfly, and I think it's really cool. I love this frame, and I love that the person that owned this wrote on the back the species of butterfly this is. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I will butcher it, but how pretty is that? I just love it. I think it's really, really cool. So boho, like I said. Okay, so I picked this up. This is a vintage bandana. And I cannot remember. I do watch a lot of resellers on YouTube that also sell items that are not vintage. And I do watch some clothing resellers. So, I want to say it was Paul Cantu. I can't remember who it was. But someone had mentioned how desirable vintage bandanas are. So, I went ahead and got this. Um, it is in really, really good shape. It does say made in the USA somewhere on it. Uh, there's no fraying. I mean, it looks brand new. But I was able to tell from the marking. Oh, here we go. That this is a true vintage bandana. So I've got to do some more research. Find out, you know, how to price it. Find out if it should be on eBay or Etsy instead of a live sale. And I, I'm going to keep saying this. If you see anything that you're interested in, let me know. Um, I'm happy to, you know, work out a sale with you. You don't have to wait for a live sale. Um, but let me know soon, you know, soon after you see this video. Because it may end up, you know, going up on eBay or Etsy soon. And I'm going to be working harder on that over the next week. Because, you know, I was dealing with the car wreck and... A bunch of other things so I've kind of fallen behind on listing on eBay but I'm going to be doing that pretty much all the time this week okay I did pick up two more little golden books because several of you collect them um, this one is so cute it's the pokey little puppies naughty day and I have sewn it sewn sold another pokey little puppy book before um, this one is copyrighted 1985. First, I thought it was 65 because I, I need new glasses. It's it's getting real, guys. Um, but this book is in great shape. Uh, the pictures are so cute. Look at the puppy. Look at him and his mom. See, he's just mischievous. He's getting into all sorts of. Oh, look, he dug under the fence. Kind of reminds me of Dexter. How bad this puppy is. He's tearing clothes off the clothesline. Oh, look, he, he's got his buddies, and they're all getting into trouble. Oh, look at that picture. Anyway, won't go through the whole book, but I was happy to find this. And then I found this one, too. It's the first time I've seen this one. Richard Scarry's Best Little Word Book Ever. I am not sure why there's tape here, because it's the binding is still pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect. So I'm going to see if I can get some of that tape off. I'm, I'm not sure why it's on there. But this book is so cute. Um, it teaches children about words, obviously. And it does, oh, look, U.S. Air Force. That's kind of cool. 
So this belonged to the U.S. Air Force. Um, this is dated 1992. Oh my gosh, that means it's vintage. Um, I think it's cool just because it's you know got great great graphics and look at the, the pig driving a pickle car. Oh my. There's so many things I could say about that, but I won't. Uh, there they are at the grocery store. But like I said, I pretty much pick these up whenever I see them, especially if they're they're vintage um, and they're in good shape. So this is not vintage. I got this for a certain someone. Yvonne, grab it. You better be watching this. She asks for owls all the time, and I, I don't know what she wants. But I went ahead and got this guy. Um, Maud Borup. I've never heard of this company. Um, but this owl is actually really high quality. You know, I've seen owls became popular again over the past few years. Believe me, I know that because I bought a lot. <laughs> but um, this seems a little bit different. It's, it's got, you know, it's got some good weight to it, and it obviously is really well made. Um, so I picked it up, knowing it wasn't vintage because Yvonne has been asking for it. And if she's not interested, then I will pop it on eBay and see what I can do. Okay. Oh, I forgot about the Santa. So I did get a nesting doll Santa, and I don't know if I can get him open right now. Oh, man, I wanted to show you. Bear with me here just a second. Look at look at that book. Leave that part. Um, he has a bunch of little elves inside. Look at how cute they are. I haven't counted them. They look to be about eight. I just thought this was so cute, and I thought, again, perfect for our Christmas and July sale. Um, I can't tell if that's a signature or not. Um, it's an excellent shape. I think he's got a really cute face. Uh, this is a really nice nesting doll set, I think. See, yeah, I don't see anything on the bottom. Price sticker from the estate sale. Um, well, it's made in China, but very high quality for being made in China. Okay, speaking of high quality, I did kind of say these two for last. I have to be careful with these. I got these at Goodwill, y'all, and these glasses, martini glasses, are so beautiful. They are very high quality, they're very strong, and they're beautiful. Uh, they are handmade, and they're different. Um, they both have the blue and green, but whoever um, designed these or blew these pieces of glass, you know, they did an excellent job and, and they don't look alike, which is what you want when you're looking for really nice art glass. So I had to pick these up. I was really surprised they were at Goodwill. There's no damage to either one of them and they're absolutely stunning in my opinion. Love them. It's making me want to have a martini right now. But I will not do that. i got a busy day tomorrow and I don't need to be drinking. <laughs> I would like to though. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this haul. It, um, it's kind of a mixture of things, but I think that's good. Let me know what you think. You can definitely leave a comment or send me a message. I will say it again, my email is calypsoantiques at gmail.com. You can also reach out to me on Instagram. I'm on there a lot. Calypso underscore antiques, and you can send me a DM. And thanks, everyone, for your support, and it really, truly does mean a lot. I'm sorry about all the boxes in the background. Those are... Everything, um, I invoiced from our live sales last week, so everything is ready to go. And it just makes me think how grateful I am for, for everyone out there who has purchased from me or just commented or supported, you know, it all means a lot to me. And I love you guys. I love this whole community. I hope everyone had a great weekend, and I will be posting another video tomorrow, another haul. Okay, guys, take care and have a great night. Bye-bye.